Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So have you ever been on vacation or out of town and then you realize that your phone is running out of space? You know, you're trying to do videos, you're trying to take pictures, and all of a sudden you see a message saying you're low on this space. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you a backup plan that you can use if you're an Android user in case you ever run into this situation or you have ran into it before and didn't know what to do. So like I said in the intro, I'm gonna show you what you can use to take along with you if you happen to go out of town, be on vacation, and you're away from your computer where you can't really back up your stuff. Now before I proceed on this method, one of the requirements is gonna be that your phone has to have a USB-C connector. So if you don't have a USB-C connector, then this is not gonna work for you. Second requirement is you have to have an Android phone. This method currently doesn't work on the iPhone and that may change in the future, but at the current time of this video, it doesn't work. So if you meet those two requirements, let's proceed. So on your Android phone, there's an app called File Manager. It might be called Files or something else, but it's somewhere to where you can manage your files. And with this app, you can access all your data. That means your picture, your music, or any other files that you have on your phone. And that's why I said this is only gonna work on the Android phone because the Apple phone doesn't have that kind of access at this current time. So with that being said, once you go into the app, it'll show you all your stuff that you have on the phone so far. So I've got almost 4,000 images. I got videos, I got music, and so forth. Then it's gonna show you how much space you have left on your SD card and also your internal storage. As you can see by looking at this, my internal storage is almost full and my SD card is pretty much full. Now I can easily swap out the SD card by just moving it from the tray and putting a blank one in. But when it comes to the internal storage now, that's gonna require a little bit more work. So I can put an SD card in and then transfer the stuff that's on the internal storage to the SD card and then take the SD card back out again and go to all that work. But that's just too much back and forth stuff. What you can do to make it easier on yourself is to purchase one of these new thumb drive that's got the Type-C connector. Now this one by Sandisk is actually a dual USB drive, which makes it very useful now to transfer that stuff off your phone onto a computer or something else. Because the Type-C will plug into your phone that's why you need a phone with a Type-C connector. And if you need to transfer the stuff off here to your computer, it makes it a whole lot easier. Okay, so let's crack this thing open and uh, do the little installation here so you can see what I'm talking about as far as setting it up on your phone if you've never done a file transfer from your phone before. Okay, so here's the drive. This is a 32 gigabyte drive right here. And it has the two ports on each end. You got the one for the USB Type-C and then you got one for the regular USB. So this is a very versatile thumb drive right here. Not all these thumb drives come the same. Some of them come with just the type C and some of them, of course, you know, only come with the regular USB. Now I would recommend you go with the dual version because you can take the stuff off your phone and then when this start getting full, you can transfer this off to your computer. Unless your computer already have a type C connector, then you don't have to worry about getting the dual. Now if you never transfer files off your Android phone, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So all you have to do is to grab your phone and go to the File Manager app. You wanna plug in the Type-C connector into your phone, the same port that you use to charge the phone, and then it's gonna show up like a regular drive. So as you can see, I got the internal storage, I got the SD card, and now I got a micro SD. And of course, the micro SD card is the one that's empty. So we already know that is the thumb drive. So if you want to transfer stuff off now to the thumb drive, what you want to do is go to the source of the files that you're trying to transfer. I'm going to do the internal storage. And then I'm going to do, say, pictures, for instance. Now, say you want to transfer the entire folder. So I would do screenshot, for instance. I would hold it down till I get the check mark. I want to hit those three dots. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to do copy and not move. But if you're trying to get the stuff off, you want to choose the move option. So I'm going to click copy to, and then I'm going to find the drive. Remember, it was labeled micro SD. So I'm going to click on micro SD. So now that we're on the copy to screen, what I want to do is create a folder because I don't want to put them just anywhere. I want to create a folder that says picture folder. So I want to click the plus sign and then I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call it pictures. Click OK. 
and now my folder is created so all I have to do is choose that folder click OK and then it's going to copy that stuff over to the thumb drive now so now I can free up that space now this is just copying but if you move it then it's going to move those files from your internal storage over to the thumb drive and then you'll have more room on your phone and you can do this for multiple files now I clicked on one folder but once you hold it down and you click one folder you can do multiple folders at the same time and now all those files have been transferred to the USB drive now if I want to do multiple folders all I got to do is hold it down and just keep clicking as you can see I can choose multiple ones and do them all at the same time instead of just doing one folder at a time you can do the same thing with files so if you go into the folder and you want to choose certain files you just hold down once you get the check mark then you can choose multiple files and skip over the ones that you really don't want and have them transfer to the USB drive so after you do that then you can continue using your phone and take more pictures and more videos videos are the one that's going to take up the room on your phone so if you're out of town you're on vacation and you're far away from your computer where you can transfer the stuff off to your computer yes you can use the cloud service and all of that but this is easier and quicker and much faster than trying to upload it to the cloud that way you'll be faster back to having fun and you don't have to worry about continue running out of space because you can just dump it off on the thumb drive and keep on going and if you want to make sure those files are actually on the thumb drive all you have to do is go back to the file manager screen and then all you have to do is click on the micro SD card and you can see there's the folder that says pictures so you can go in there and check and that way you can tell to see if the files got moved over from your phone to the SD card properly then once you complete the transfer you can pull your thumb drive out lock it up in the hotel safe and then you don't have to worry about trying to lose it while you're out and about Pack it up when you leave and take it with you so you can have those files safe and secure and you'll have more room on your phone and you can do that especially like I say if you're out of town or on vacation. Alright so that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.